ladies i'm back again with your 10 um worst sexual things that you don't like and your 10 best things about sex or things that you like and as i was getting ready i ended my video because it cut off <laughs> but as i was saying i am here for your wallet your pocketbooks and your your wallet your pocketbooks and your purses your hearts and your mind and I want y'all to respond to my video you know and I want you to put up 10 things or things it doesn't have to be 10 uh, some of the things that you like and that you don't like about getting ready for sex or sex period you know whatever you know whatever the things it is that you don't like about that I want you to Tell me about that, like I'm telling you. Um, what I was saying was, like I said, I have no problem with my sexuality. I'm, you know, or being four figured or voluptuous or whatever the case may be, and mature because I am mature. <laughs> and but still, you know, everybody had them little days where you feel a little self conscious. Well. You feel a little something some days. You you just have days that you be blah, 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 you know. And we were in the store. And uh, he's a nice looking man. Built up, nice, nice, tall, you know, whatever. And other ladies are looking at him. I mean, like, looking at him. Like, looking, looking at him. <laughs> and they're young ladies. And they built up like, pow, pow. But I'm mature and I'm older. And, you know, he walks around like, hmm. And he walks up to me and he gives me the biggest hug and a kiss in the store. He grabbed my butt. And I'm like, baby, what are you doing? He was like, girl, letting these people know what I get. I was like, oh, babe. I'm like, thank you. You know, it made me feel good, even though I shouldn't have been feeling that way. In the beginning. But sometimes things just happen. Shit happens. And it happens to the best of us. And it's nice when you have a person that makes you feel secure about who you are and how you are or whatever the case may be. And he makes you feel like or he or she makes you feel like you're the best thing in the world. And nobody can touch that. That's sexy to me, you know. Uh, embracing what you have and not going outside your little your little realm, your little family or your woman or your wife or your girlfriend, or your boyfriend or your man, whatever. It just feels good. It feels secure. You feel happy. You feel enjoy. You, you, you feel joyful about everything. It makes you smile all the time. And even though you may not feel how he sees you, but... He may see you like you like, like the most amazingest woman in the world. And you feeling like you got all the issues in the world. But you don't. You don't. But we all feel some type of way sometimes. And ladies, that's okay. Because I feel like that sometimes too. That's why I made this video about the 10 things that you hate about sex and the 10 things that you love about sex. And it don't always have to be about the sexual intercourse. It could be about how he makes you feel or how you see him or how he sees you or what he do to get you to wherever he trying to get you at. And it don't even have to be sexual like that. It could be something that he said or something that he does to make you feel like a woman. Honey, because I love feeling like the woman that I am. And believe that when I tell you. But my, my tenth thing is, <laughs> is when he um uh, talking to me during the, uh, you know, the, the sexual moment, the heat of the moment. <laughs> and he's sounding all strong and... He's saying things. You be like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> and he get in that moment and he almost call you out your name. I be like, hold up now. Hold up. We don't do that. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you can make an obsession, you know. But 
we have fun with it. It's all about having fun and sexy to me. The way he act, the way he play, the way he talk to me, the way he caress and hold me, the way he do everything, everything. The people that I talked about before are people that I had <laughs> before I got married. And, and, and it's just... It was just disappointing, you know, and they, they walk around like they got the biggest package in the world or walk around like they this outstanding lover. And honey, on a scale from one to ten, honey, you don't even make it to a two, not even in size. <laughs> so I had to put this video up and you know, I like being serious and I like laughing with you ladies. Leave me some comments. Tell me about the 10 things you hate or the 10 things you like. It ain't have to actually just be all 10. It could be three or four of them. Just hit me up with your comments. Tell me what you think of my videos. And you know, I may not get a chance to say it because they cut off sometimes, but I am here for your wallets, your purses, and your pocketbooks. I'm here for your hearts and your man, whatever it is that you feel like you want to talk about with Mama Roxy, please feel free because you see I talk about everything. <laughs> I had another topic, but I'll save it until uh, next Thursday or Friday to deal with. I might make another video. It ain't no telling when videos going to come for me. Y'all know I'm special. But ladies, I'm telling you, it's about how you feel with each other. That brings that sometimes you don't think about the 10 things that, that made you feel like, oh, or the 10 things that was like, oh my God, he was this way and or she was that way and oh, oh, or how you jerk, or how you moved, or, or how you was like, oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, he loves me. <laughs> Men, y'all do it too. Oh my God, she loves me. She loves me. I like to hold her foot. You know, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Y'all know I'm silly. But just like I'm saying, it don't make a difference on being older, smaller, bigger, taller, uh, what color. It don't make a difference. I'm silly. I enjoy life. You have to grab life by the balls and run with it, baby. Because nobody is promised tomorrow. And if you live in like a stuffed shirt or you every time you with somebody and you walking on needles and pins and glass and, and, and bricks, then he ain't worth he or she ain't worth being with. I'm gonna be with somebody that makes me happy. I'm gonna be with somebody that I can enjoy with everything with laughing, sex, conversation, sex. Um, playing with the grandkids, making love, uh, hanging out with the kids, doing family time, making love. <laughs> you see how many times I put that making love and having sex in there? Yes, 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 yes. You got to smile. You got to go places. You got to do things. You got to have a person that compliments you, you know, that, that, that tell you how good you smell or how soft your skin is or how pretty your smile is, even though you got teeth missing. <laughs> Motherfucker till tell you like, oh baby, look at that smile. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. It's all about being happy. And that's what I want. That's what I got that's what it's about. Being happy and staying happy. Everybody, you ain't gonna stay that way all the time. That shit happens, but you gotta fix it. If it's worth fixing, then you fix it. But y'all remember, I told y'all I went to the store today. And you know what else I forgot to tell y'all? I found that Big Lots. These. Girl, I got them for like a dollar. Listen, look at this one. Can y'all see it? It's saying, confidence is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love this one too. It said, keep calm and carry on. I like that one. I'm putting them up in my little room. And this one is elegance. It's the only beauty that never fades. And this is Audrey Hepburn. Yes. That's what I got. 
But ladies, I'm telling you, life is meant to be happy. And it's meant to enjoy, laugh, and play, and everything. Just because you get old, don't make you old. Just because you get older, don't make it where you have to live an old person's life. I'm not going to live an old person's life. I don't want no. I'm not an old person. I'm a mature person that likes to still have fun and be silly and crack jokes and talk about people and talk about life and whatever. That's me, and I'm going to enjoy it to the fullest, and that's what you guys should do. No matter what ailing you, no matter what, because when I'm at my weakest, he's by my side. Uh, loving me and, 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 and going through them aches and pains and whatever the case may be, he has to be able to do that for me. If he can't do that for me, I don't know. Because that's a part of me too. You have to accept everything that comes along with you. Just like you have to accept children and grandchildren and every, everything else. But my lupus and fibromyalgia and asthma and everything that come along with me. He has to be able to accept that too. If you can't accept that, that's a part of me like everything else. Then that means we can't be together. So that's how you have to think about things, ladies. And me, yeah, men, if a person can't accept you for who you are, then you don't need them. If a person can't be around you and your kids and make time, for, he can only be around too. It's only about the sex, baby, and your booty call. And booty calls don't mean nothing. So, honey, find somebody that fits you, that, that that's crazy about you, that's willing to do anything he can to be with you, uh, be with your family, be 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 by your side when you're hurting, when you're not hurting, when you're <laughs> having them lady days or whatever the case, and he's still around, then he he's a keeper. Or if he in there and he washing them dishes and he taking out that trash and and he cooking something to eat, he's a keeper. <laughs> Or if he making them toes curly, he putting your hair, and you're like, oh, for a good reason, he's a caper. <laughs> but whatever. Not pulling your hair like, oh, my God, why am I with him? Oh, I can't stand him. Where'd he leave? You don't need that. That's not a keeper. That's a, that's a something else. I forgot what that is. That's, a, that's chaos. <laughs> that's the old video. But ladies, enjoy your life. Have some fun and, and uh, be the queens that you are, the queens and the kings that you are. And be happy. Um, and come and holler at Mama Roxy. Let me, I told you before, I'm here for your wallets, your pockets, and your pocketbooks, your heart, and your mind.